Hello everybody, my name is Mitch. Welcome back to my single player. Mitch plays Minecraft, Mitchcraft World over here in the big old Mesa village we've got built. And last episode we built this building over here and I've also done a couple more tweaks here and there. I couldn't help myself. I was just too into building around here. And I was like, I never liked that chicken building that was here. So we rebuilt it, made a new. We've got that building there and we've got a little tiny house over here, which also looks really cool. But it looks like, oh yeah, we probably need to sleep. So, hey, scoot over, guys. I want to sleep. Can I sleep? I don't know. It looks rather busy in here. Are we going to sleep? Not yet? Well, as you can see inside this building, we've got a little table set up over here. Oh, now we can sleep. There's a little workbench over there. Not a lot of detail inside here, but I do like how, like, this wall is, like, smooth up against like the pattern walls over there and same thing over here with the entrance way I just like these little tiny buildings they're a lot of fun to build get out of that bed I'll take that thank you and it's morning time so let's go ahead and wander out here past that I'm not putting in like a lot of job related um, blocks and things because this is just mainly just so these guys have a place to live Probably not going to spend a lot of time trying to make them into like super traders or anything over here. But let's like take a look around the back side here. I put a little alleyway in the back, which I thought would look really cool. Plus, these guys were just kind of hanging out back here anyways. So I thought it made sense. Got like a little workstation back here with the flags. And then the chickens have all been moved back here into like a little chicken coop type fenced in area. Which I think looks really cool. We got a little bit of hay laying down there. A little bit of water. You know, the basics. Hello. And then this building here. Went ahead and added a little bit of fancy lighting there. Walking all the way around here. We kind of have a little bit more room to get up these stairs now. Where it was kind of pushed right up against that other building. I like that a lot too. And this little storefront area might be my favorite. Just because it's like... Oh, hello there, bandit. But just because it's cluttered here with a lot of different things... Like these flower pots all stuck on this table here. That looks really cool. And then we've got the pumpkins over here for a little bit of lighting and a little bit of like, you know, hey, look, this is stuff that could be sold here or you might find here. Or, you know, just kind of decorative. Now, if we can make our way into this building. Oh, okay. Once we get past the doorway, it's not that. Oh, I bet they can't get past that carpet. I bet you that's the problem. Hmm. Can we... Just do that. Will you guys get in here now? Eh? We just maybe put that there. I'm gonna have to rethink the entrance to this area. But yeah, I think this is a much cooler looking storefront here. You got like the little area for them to hang out here and sell their goods. And then like a little living area over here in this corner. And then behind here we've got hidden lighting. Got a little coat rack area here. These will be simple buildings I really like. And then this thing over here, like the much larger living quarter area thing, we can make it in here without getting pushed around too much. I just smacked down a whole bunch of beds. We got a bunch of beds over here, like your little bookshelf over there, a little desk, and go, you know, all out. Added some lighting up here. And since that's slabs, I can kind of play around with stairs and slabs and make it look kind of cooler than it was normally and then if we go upstairs excuse me pardon me coming through we got even more beds up here another little bedroom area a little work area desk over here this little nook you can sit here and look out the windows not the greatest view because of the fence windows but hey you can still see out there we got the hidden lighting back behind here making that like little fake wall yeah, I know. You like it, too. And if we go up to the roof area, eh, push our way up here. We still have plenty more room for activity and stuff up here. I was thinking about putting, like, a big canopy type thing up here, too. But, I don't know. I kind of like just having it empty, too. So, you know, I had, like, the kind of inspirational... Uh, supply. I had some inspiration to work around here in this area. Since I hadn't been over here in a while... And I think we've just about, you know, exercised our resources, got things done over here, and I feel a lot better about it. 
Of course, we, you know, it's not a perfect area. We still have a couple of empty areas to build in. And we've got a couple of problems, like... For some reason over here, everybody wants to party with the pigs. Look at how many guys are in there. Just hanging out with the pigs. There's more people than pigs now. Yeah. Very strange. Oh boy, I think we did find another villager party house here. Let's see if we can make our way in. Oh, we got another guy trying to get in. Excuse me. Pardon me. Let me... No, you're not like... You're guarding the door? I'm not allowed in? Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's a little crowded inside here. Um, that was the bedroom in here. How did I get... Okay, there's the way up to the roof. Uh... Well, not too many people up here except for a chicken. But yeah, I was just, you know, clearing out all the trees up here from our little farm area. Noticed a lot of racket coming from over here. I don't know why all these guys are gathering over here, but I, so I guess, guess it's a pretty cool place to hang out. Now we've repurposed the pig farm area that was over here and capturing all the villagers inside the gate into like a nice little farm area. We've got potatoes growing up here. We've got a couple of farmers hanging out. Oh, it's starting to turn nighttime now. So they're all going to try to crowd into these buildings. But past that, I like it. I think it's a nice little vibe here. A nice little bit of detail. I left some of the remnants, like the fence post, kind of sticking up with some torches. So you can kind of see what used to be here before it was repurposed. But that leads us to another problem. Which, you know, we're not even going to look at these guys right now. There's more <laughs> villagers inside here than cows. Darn it. But we've got to rehome our pigs up here captured the pigs they're all caught by leads here and the remnants of their friends that i had stored over there and we've got to find a new home for these guys got to find a new home for these three little piggies now i've just been looking out here for an area we could put them now right here i was thinking like this would be a nice little area for another little farm like a little wheat field or something maybe but I don't want to build something tall here because it kind of blocks the view of your entrance here. And we already have the horse stables over here. Which then I was thinking, well, maybe we'll put them down here. But I don't know. That feels a little bit out of the way. This is a maybe area. Possibly. But it's not a lot of space. So then I was thinking we've got this little empty spot off this way we could stick them in. Which seems to be a little bit bigger space-wise. And to kind of give us a reason to come over here. Maybe build a little bit of a building in between here with a fenced-in area. Maybe do something. I don't know. Let's just put down some fence. Like, hmm. Keep it, like, right level with this area here. I think that would be, like, a corner. Then maybe have it come back this way a little bit. Then maybe that way. Only problem with using fences is it's really hard to... I don't know, give it like an organic shape. It's either straight or it's not straight. So from here, we might come out like all the way. Could we come out this far? Let's just start connecting this. See what that looks like. And then bring it off this way. And then we've got a little bit of a dip over here. And then that carries it off this way here. I didn't really settle on a ending point over this way. Hmm. Maybe if we cut across here. Eh, we'll just get rid of it. Maybe that way. And that's not really going to be even here. So we might have to bring this over to... Hmm. I don't know. It's going to take some time to figure out. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, we're almost there. Let me bring this back this way a little bit. And have it bring it back this way. How do we feel about that shape? And I'm not in love with it. I think we can do better. Okay, I think we've got a basic layout here that I like. 
I went with like two squares with the fences going like nine by nine. And they did another one nine by nine over there. And then I thought, well, they need like a little shed or something to be able to, you know, get out from the weather and stuff. So that's when we built like this like five by however long that is by five. And then having like a big entrance right here for them to be able to crawl in and out and, you know, do pig like things. So let's go ahead and start lighting up this. I think that would be a good way to go. We're just going to kind of do it at random. doesn't have to be a certain pattern or anything because, you know what? We don't have to. So nanner nanner. Um, let's go ahead and put this in here. Put that in there. And then as far as the entrance goes, I'm thinking maybe putting it here. Like right there. And put a fence gate right there. I mean, we could do it over here, too, maybe. Hmm, what if we did that? What if we just, like, knock out two of these, maybe? And then put in a bigger fence right there. Then maybe adding a bit more an entrance thing there. And then one over here. Oh, I'm going to need more fences. Uh, bloop. And... One right here. Oops. Wrong one. One right here. There we go. And it's it's a start. It's a beginning. Alright, it's time to grab these guys and lead them over to their new home. Let's see. That's going to be the easiest way for me to grab all those. Can I do that? Did I grab... No, I only got two of them. Wait a minute. Where'd the third pig go? Oh, you're way over there. What are you doing over here? Let's grab you. Grab you. I guess just you two get to go at this time. I'll come back for you later, Mr. Pig. All right. Let's see if we can't lead them all the way over here. Come on. Let's take a happy little trip through the town here. Don't get sidetracked. Make sure. Yep, you're still following me. Good. Hopefully they can make it through the fence at the entrance here. I really like this little area. I'm glad we spent a little time out here today. All right, now can you guys fit through there? Of course not. Why would you be able to? Come on, just one at a time. No, not both of you. Ah, come on. What if I just do that, do one at a time? Can we do that? Okay, now give me that. Now let's bring you in, around. There we go. Well, actually, I guess I can grab both of you now. Okay, well, let's shut that. Boop. All right, now we're almost there. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. I decided to, you know, go away from having like the little covered area for them and just kind of leave it kind of more all natural. Just a little pin for them. Nothing too complicated because with the size of this, it looked weird trying to attach a barn to it because it's not that big. Just big enough for these pigs to hang out in. And there you go. Kind of carried on some of the theme going on here. Like on the, the roof area here, we have those kind of lights going. So I put those in all four corners here. And then on the inside here, we've got nice piggy looking area here. Look at that. Come on. Come on. You too. All right. Now give me that. Give me that. Shut that. There we go. But yeah, I like how this whole thing looks. It's very piggish. Lots of mud and... Gross stuff and hay kind of just laying all around the place. Looks very disorganized and gross. Just like you guys. You'll love it here, I promise. And we hop on top of this side. Actually, let's try to fly a little bit. You like the aerial view? See, I like that. I think it looks very nice. And swoosh by here again. And then you can see... If I can land like right here. Ugh. See, I kind of copied this lighting here and brought it down there. Just to kind of carry the theme on all the way through. And see, look at that. I think they like it. I think they like it here. We'll have to go grab the other guy too. But I think that's probably going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys again next time.